Hey, what's going on my lockdown crew bringing you a workout today it is the 7th of april 2020 and obviously we're all experiencing this lockdown so i've come up with a little 22 minute am wrap for you the sun is out it's absolutely lovely i want to take your fitness outdoors and get a nice little sweat on so it's a 22 am wrap and am wrap stands for as many rounds as possible so all you need to do is complete all four exercises that i've listed below and all you're going to do is seven reps of each one and you're just going to keep going through the ladder after exercise until the 22 minutes is up now it is a dumbbell workout and obviously some of you haven't got the equipment so i've written a body weight uh, version for you to do again the more fitter you are the more rounds you should be able to do but just remember don't compare yourself to anyone else it is just doing what you can <clears throat> and again if you do feel lightheaded or dizziness or any of that please stop and then go back into it again please make sure that you're thoroughly warmed up before we do this so for those that have dumbbells, obviously weight is a limiting factor, but just do what you can. So the first one is a thruster. So all you're gonna do <clears throat> is grab two dumbbells, squat down and push them back in the head. Uh, what I'll do, I'll give you a little demonstration on how to do each one of those. And then after that, we've got burpee jump overs. So what we're gonna do is do a burpee, jump over the dumbbell, do another burpee, we'll do seven of those. Then we're gonna do some reverse lunges. So grab both dumbbells, have them by the side or on your shoulder and just do some reverse lunges with that one for me. Uh, and the last one is a dumbbell snatch. So picking the weight off the floor and then pressing it above your head. So that is the dumbbell side of it. Now obviously, if you haven't got any of the equipment, I've got you all covered. So the first one is squat jumps. So you're gonna do seven squat jumps. You're gonna squat down and jump up as tall as you can. After that, you're gonna do some squat thrusts. So hands on the floor, push your legs in and out, in and out for seven repetitions. After that, you've got reverse lunges. Now, obviously, if you're doing it body weight, I expect you to do seven on the left, seven on the right before you move over. Uh, and the last one is a banded row or press up. So obviously, if you've got any resistance bands, fantastic. If you haven't, don't worry, just do some normal press ups. And what I'm gonna do now is just run through each exercise, make sure you're familiar with what you're gonna do, and then we're gonna get after it. Yeah. So the first exercise is a thruster. So all you need to do is grab yourself a set of dumbbells. What you're gonna do is rest half the dumbbell on your shoulder to be a little bit more effective and make sure that we preserve our shoulders. Mm -hmm. Elbows to shoulder width apart, keep your chin up. Little bend your knee, push your hips back. All you're gonna do is sit down into a squat position, pushing your hips back, come down to 90 degrees. All you're then gonna do is use your leg drive and come up. As you're coming up in the air, think about pressing your arms above your head coming onto your tiptoes and then when you come back down try and catch it back down in towards a squat position for seven reps if you do not have any dumbbells then what you can do is squat jump same thing again hands out and forward keep your chest up shoulders back chin up squatting down and jump squat down and jump when you land on the floor make sure that you bend your knees we don't want to hear flat feet that's very bad for your knees you want to catch the bounce. So the next exercise is a burpee jump over and there's a few variations that we can do. So the first one, the hardest one in my opinion, is the CrossFit style. So all you're gonna do is put your hands on the floor, kick your legs out, come down chest to floor. Then what you're gonna think about is pushing the hips up in the air first, driving your legs forward and jump in. Now, if that is a little bit too difficult for you, you can do another alternative where you kick your hands out, back in, and jump that's more like a down up uh, and then obviously for the easiest version out of it what we're going to do is a squat thrust so hands on the floor jump out jump in jump out jump in so the third exercise is a reverse lunge this is a, one of my favorite exercises for obviously building leg development um, you can do them going forward the only problem I find with going too far forward is I find that it puts a lot of pressure onto my knees. So if you've got weak knees or you're new to exercise, uh, I'd recommend doing a reverse lunge. So all you need to do is stand shoulder width apart, chest up, shoulders back. All you think of that is pushing that leg back, coming down into a lunge position. What we don't want to do is make sure our knee touches the floor, because that way we're taking all the pressure on the let off the leg. What we want to do is make sure we've got constant pressure. Then we're going to put all the weight onto this front foot. And again, pushing through the ball of our heel on this part of our ball point here. The more far forward you lean, the more quad it is, the more you lean back, the more hamstring and glutes. So what we're gonna do is we wanna target our uh, hamstrings and glutes. So lean back, push up, swap down and push back up and back down. If you do not have any dumbbells, <clears throat> you just do it body weight. Come back down and up, back down and up. 
The final exercises are dumbbell snatches. So you want to do is come up to the dumbbell. There's a couple of variations that you can do it. So you can stand shoulder width apart, little bend of your knees, push your hips back into a deadlift position. Make sure your chest is up and lats are engaged. All you're thinking about is driving your legs through the floor, coming up to this position, coming up to your tiptoes, pulling the dumbbell up and then pushing it up in the air. Okay. I much prefer this action of coming up here and then pushing back down. But for speed and effectiveness, I find it's easier to have it in the middle, come up and swap down like so. It's all about getting that hip extension coming up and then pushing it above your head. Now, obviously, if you do not have access to a dumbbell or that's too technical for you, what we can do is press ups. So come onto your knees if you need to, to make it easier. Down or do a normal press up. Now, obviously, if you want a little bit more resistance and you want to work your back a little bit more, we can do a banded row. So get yourself a lovely band. Make sure that your feet are flat on there, pushing against. Retract your shoulder blades back, keep your chest up, leaning back so we get a little bit more tension on the band. And then focus on pulling your elbows back, squeezing your traps and your rhomboids, and then slowly retracing back. Come up and pull, and back down. Right, thrusters, three, two, one, let's go. sunglasses
Fun. Pretty while here with the sun, but we're still getting after it. Let's go see if we got it. Big push. Doing what you can. Shoulders are burning. Keep going so you got it.
halfway. the headphones. They stay near very well. Here you go, team. It's hot out here. Probably not the best idea to do this at 11 o'clock in the morning. But we're getting after it. Keep pushing through it. It's a tough one today.
I need some window wipers with these sunglasses. We don't quit, we keep going. We got this girl we're working for it. Even if we have to go slow, I'm gonna keep going. Don't compare yourself to anyone else, you just do what you can. They push two minutes. Let's get after it. Come on, Kieran, come on. that breeze would carry on.
Have I seen music stop? Wow, that was an interesting session. Wow, that was really a hard session. Didn't expect it to be that hard. The sun blaring down is really a killer. And I think exhaustion just kept up with me, but I just did what I could. In those circumstances, you just, you can push all limits, but you might be in a bad place. But I was in a pretty much pain cave for that one, just slowing down, just exhaustion kicking off. But by no means am I happy with that performance. Uh, I could have pushed a little bit harder, but that's what you learn as a person. That's how you get better. That's how you grow. That's how you get to the next level. So things to take away from that session, obviously doing it out in the sunlight is quite difficult. Being ginger too, probably nice and red, probably sunburnt from that one. Should have got my factor 50 on, but it was a good session. Enjoyed that. Um, so guys, please um, obviously uh, try this workout for yourself. Comment below what obviously tight, what uh, what rounds you got to. I didn't think I did that many, probably about seven or eight rounds if I'm lucky. Uh, but comment how many rounds you did, whether you liked it, a bit of feedback would be awesome. Uh, and if you did like the video, please like and subscribe. I uh, just want to leave you on one note, kind of one thing. At the moment, we're all in this isolation, this lockdown, and it's a chance for us to slow down a little bit and enjoy life. Now, we're all like running around at like a million miles an hour. Uh, everyone wants everything kind of quick. Now's a chance for us to kind of get our breath back and reset and really find what you're passionate about and what you really want to do. If that's getting fitter, try and get more sessions in a week, try and dial down your nutrition. If you want to get better at gaming, just put a couple more hours. We've got the time to do this team. It's real, a real opportunity for us to try and make a difference uh, and really push ourselves because that's the only way we get better is in how we comfort zone. But um, many more videos to come. Hope you enjoyed this one. As I said before, please like, subscribe. That would help out massively. And I'll keep, uh, can't even talk half that workout. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.